All right, guys, we're going to try this and see how it works. I'm trying to figure out a good way to get uh, my gasket alignment issue taken care of, and this is what I came up with. I had a, a good O10 block on the stand already. Put on some old head gaskets, put both sets of cylinder heads on, tightened one head bolt up in the middle so I know it's nice and flat and even. Mounted the intake. Now if I'm testing one high H, the other high H runners are plugged with a chunk of foam. I put some old valves in the valve seats. I put an old stud in the stud boss because that goes into the intake port. Put a spark plug in. On the bottom, I took an old piece of foam pillow. Stuff it into the barrel. Can't go all the way up because you're going to be sucking air through your exhaust port. I'm using a small old shop vac. And I'm hitting it with a shot of Dykem in the right into the uh, intake manifold. Now this actually does two different things. One, I was kind of interested in seeing how the Dykem flows through the intake port. And somebody's going to say, oh, well, Charlie, the velocity is so slow, it's not going to make any difference. I disagree. Um, if, it, if it flows that way when it's slow... It, it gives you a decent idea of what it's going to do at high high speed. Is it exactly the same model? No. Obviously not. But the whole point of this is just to get a little dicum on the cylinder head and on the gasket and find out where we are. Now this actually, this side has not, the openings on the intake manifold are exactly stock. So we'll see where we are. <laughs> Got a good vacuum on the intake. The vacuum hasn't exploded on me yet, which is always a good sign. I only have two bolts holding the intake down. Just for speed. Okay, I can show you guys that. Now, I did this twice, so the, <laughs> the blue that's laying in the bottom was from an earlier failed attempt. Okay, see the blue on the bottom? That's not accurate. But if you can see the blue on that back wall there, that's accurate. You see all the way in there? How do we do on this? You can just see the bottom of that exhaust port's got a little blue. But take a look at the lip between the cylinder head and that gasket. I think I'm going to be lowering that floor just a little bit. And that's the easiest way to do that. Charlie, you never lower the floor. Yeah, I know. On something like this... I can actually bring that lowered floor into <sighs> my pinch, which probably wouldn't hurt at this point. Thanks, guys.